If you like this video, why not subscribe? Welcome back to the $1 Budget, the place where we talk about taking this and turning it into interesting filmmaking stuff. Today we're going to talk about some power options. Here we have some polarized grounding adapters. These will allow you to take a three-prong cord or power supply or whatever and plug them into a two-prong outlet. And you'll probably see these two-prong outlets in older homes uh, usually. Or if you want to leach power from a light socket, you can uh, take one of these adapters screw it into a light socket and then plug in your adapter to this, getting power that way. Now these are two for 97 cents at Walmart. You can also find them in dollar stores quite often. Because they're so cheap, they're uh, made of plastic, which isn't the best material for this. Usually if you can find rubber, uh, that's the uh, best material. But these are very handy and they're cheap. So go ahead and pick a couple of those up. Okay, next up we've got this little Sunbeam battery tester. This is the Dollar Tree. These are a dollar. And what they do uh, is basically it's a uh, cheap, uh, exactly what it says, battery tester. You take this probe off the back here, and it's your negative probe. And then just take a battery, hold the probe onto the negative side, and then touch a little contact there, and it'll tell you how well, how much power your battery has left. And in order to kind of check this, I got a uh, multimeter here. These are from Harbor Freight Tools, they're about $5. They don't qualify for the $1 budget, but uh, still handy to have. So I'm going to check this battery with the negative probe on one side and the positive probe. So it's giving us uh, 1.41 volts. So it's just a little above, a little below 100%. So it makes perfect sense then that uh, when you Test it with the sunbeam. Looks like it's just a, this third LED is a little dim. So that's all it really gives you is three LEDs with a little printed meter on the bottom telling you 20%, 50%, or 100%. That's what you're seeing. So interesting thing about this uh, little battery tester here is that if you open up the back, there's actually three batteries that power it. Three uh, button cell batteries. Usually these are powered by the battery that you're testing. Maybe that's why these ended up in the dollar store. Uh, is because they actually take batteries to run it. So eventually those batteries are going to die, but the thing only costs a buck. Uh, so you can always buy a new one. And these are handy to have, of course, because you might want to check your battery and you don't want to lug this around, or maybe you don't have this to lug around. You can just get the $1 version and uh, chuck it in your gear bag. And if it dies, get another one. All right, lastly, we've got this uh, cross check level. This is from Harbor Freight Tools. This was 99 cents. And all this really is, is a uh, level uh, with a vertical bubble and a horizontal bubble, uh, which you can attach to any kind of equipment or gear. If you don't have one on your tripod, you can attach it there. It actually has two mounting holes. This would probably work well on a rig you build, maybe a PVC rig. You want to see what kind of balance you have or whatever. It's just not, not too bad for 99 cents. You get two levels, you get two mounting holes and a piece of plastic and you get a magnet right here. So if you have something made of metal that you want to check the uh, level on, you just stick it right to it. And it can be a fun little game. Look, keep the bubbles in the middle. Uh, let me see, I'm not too good at it. Okay, anyway, so that's this week, uh, the $1 budget. If you have a dollar, these are some things you can buy. And I want to put this out to everybody. If you have any ideas for the $1 budget that you would like to share with me to put on the show, I will happily take your suggestions, and if I use them on the show, I will give you complete credit and uh, give you an annotation to your YouTube channel or your web page, put it in the description, do all that stuff. So feel free to send me, drop me a line at the frugalfilmmaker at gmail.com or leave a comment below. We'll see you next time on the $1 Budget.